And now we are almost set for Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official introductions. Brought to you by TGB Promotions and Showtime. Well, fans, our opening attraction is presented in association with Paco Presents. Introducing our judges, scoring from ringside, from Nevada, Lisa Jumpa. From California, Steve Morrow. And from Quebec, Canada, Benoit Roussel. Introducing our third man to the ring, he's our referee in charge to give instructions after the introductions, Alan Huggins. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in a bantamweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with multicolor trim, hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He weighed in at the bantamweight limit of 118 pounds with a record of 24 wins, two losses and five draws. He has 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former world title challenger, currently ranked the WBC number five world contender, introducing Alex Epeque Santiago. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing black trunks, hailing from Capitol Heights, Maryland. He weighed in at a ready 117 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 18 wins, no losses, one no decision with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the WBA number two ranked Bantamweight world contender introducing the undefeated Southpaw, Gary Antonio Russell. And once again, here's our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Alan Huggins. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions. Obey my command, protect yourselves at all times. Anything up from here is good. Everything from here on up is good. Touch them up. Let's go. All right, we see referee Alan Huggins getting things underway. This is a 10 Thumbs round up. bantamweight bout. Once again, Welcome into the Dolby Live Theater here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you, Fight fans, for joining me from around the world. I am Miguel Flores, premier boxing champions, presenting an, an excellent fight card. Lead off here, Gary Antonio Russell and Alexandro Santiago. Take a look at Russell in the black and red. Santiago with the black and silver, or excuse me, the red and silver trim. Russell, a little bit of a slow starter. As we take a look, even though he's orthodox, he can switch stances from time to time as we see him in his southpaw stance. And he was saying earlier this week, Peke was a fighter he cannot overlook. Rivera Wolf could be a champion as he fought Jerwin on Cajas to a split draw back in 2018. We see Russell establishing the jab early. That's one thing about the Russell family. I mean, all three still technically sound and love fighting off the jab. We see Russell just trying to get his timing down. Santiago trying to find a way to get on the inside. Santiago, like we were saying. Watch your heads, watch your heads. On oh, nearly a clash of heads there. And that was, that's been an issue for Russell, as we saw in his last fight. Didn't even make it 12 seconds before he caused a headbutt. Emmanuel Rodriguez, where they had to call the contest off. Rodriguez pretty much got knocked out. Due to a clash of heads in that first round back in August. But Russell was determined to fight at least once before the end of the year. And here he is tonight. He's wanted the opportunity to move from prospect into contender in the 118 pound division. So we see Russell trying to dart his way in. 
As for Santiago, coming in with a lot of momentum, eight wins in a row. This is a huge opportunity for him, as Russell certainly is the favorite, undefeated. He's been a rising star in this division coming up. But Santiago can hand him his first loss, as we see Santiago trying to get on the inside into the body. Referee Allen Huggins controlling the action here. There's an uppercut just missed for Russell. And Russell trying to, once again, going back to the jab. And his south paw stands. Here you see a straight left again. Followed with a double jab. As that is the end of round number one. And there we see the corner of Alexandro Santiago. They're set for round two. The key for Santiago is going to be to get on the inside of Gary Antonio Russell. That is where Santiago's strength is. You don't want to get into a, a pure boxing match with Russell. You want to find a way to muck it up a little bit, make it difficult for Russell, and try to go to the body to slow down the speed of Russell. But again, Russell does a very nice job coming out very quick, establishing the center of the ring, Once again, trying to work off the jab. And that was a beautiful double straight left from Russell. Zick out through the defense of Santiago. And there's an overhand right connecting for Santiago. And that is the punch that will be key for Santiago if Russell is going to stick in his southpaw stance as we saw Russell with the slip as he was going for an overhand left. Lost his balance there a little bit. But that's going to be key. A beautiful right hook by Russell. As Santiago starting to pressure Russell into the corner. I got it, I got it, I got it. Alan Huggins trying to break it up. But that overhand right for Santiago. He will have an opportunity to connect with that, as he did earlier in the round. He's just going to have to time Russell up in order to do so. But again, Russell is just so fast and technically sound. Again, working off the jab. And so far, that straight left for Russell has landed several times. As there's a left cross just grazing. Russell, as Santiago trying to pressure Russell. Good body shot from the unbeaten Russell. Back to the jab. Now we're starting to see Santiago take control of the ring. But then again, another straight left gets through the defense of Santiago. And that's going to have to be a punch Santiago's got to look out for. That is the end of round two as both fighters 
with the whiff as we are taking a look at some of the highlights of round two. There, here we go with the slip right there by Russell as he actually connected with that left cross. And then there is that looping left from Santiago as he was pressuring Russell. And this is exactly what he's going to have to do to throw Russell off his game. He did a very nice job of that in the second round as we take a look at the corner. We see his two brothers, Gary Allen Russell, the assistant trainer. And then obviously the 126 pound champ, Gary Russell Jr. His father not here tonight. He is typically in the corner of whenever his sons fight as he is the head trainer for all three sons. Did not make the trip. But as I spoke to Gary Russell Jr. earlier this week, he said we got more than enough to win, to win tonight. Round three. There's another jab by Russell. It's such a simple punch, but can work off of it in so many different ways. And the Russell family has been able to do so for all three. And Santiago has to find a way to get through the jab. And like I said, get on the inside. And he did a, as we see, Russell starting to amp up the volume a little bit. But Santiago looking to counter. Now Santiago once again on the inside of Russell. There's a left cross again, just missing Santiago. Russell changing things up, going to the body, and now Santiago trying to overwhelm Russell, but as you see the smile from Russell, it's gonna take a little bit more than that in order to overwhelm him. It was a good body shot. And Santiago darted in. And again, Russell doing a nice job at changing levels up a little bit. Starting to go use the jab to the body. There's an overhand right, but Santiago pushes Russell on the ropes. And as we see Santiago tie Russell up. And again, this is exactly what Santiago's gonna have to do to give himself a shot in this fight. And there you see a nice jab on Russell. Go duck, okay, go duck. Come on, let's go. And Russell looking at referee Alan Higgins. He's not liking the approach of Santiago here in round three. As we see Santiago in the orthodox as Russell sits in Southpaw. We've already seen a couple of times these guys get tangled up as you see Russell trying to fight his way out of the tie up, which he did. Followed it up with the straight left again and now Santiago looking again, throwing a flurry of combinations and pushing Russell up against the ropes. Wasn't able to land anything significant, but nonetheless was able to slow down the momentum of Russell. As again, Santiago eats a left hook as that round closed, and Santiago got a shot off. And that seemed to be well after the bell, but again, Russell looked back, smiled, and went to his corner. He's enjoying it so far. He knows this is not going to be an easy one. Let him know. Stop with the bell, okay? Yes. When the bell rings, stop. Yes. Hey, Gary, when the bell rings, stop, okay? Here we take a look. And then there is the end of this round as both fighters were throwing. And you see a right hook followed with the left hook backing Santiago up, connected beautifully for Russell. And Santiago was trying to throw punches in bunches to overwhelm Russell. Just wasn't able to connect on much. As we begin round four. 
Russell undefeated, 18-0 with 12 knockouts. Santiago, 24-2-5, 13 knockouts. And you see Russell going to the body. And there is another Watch left hook Watch again on the Let button Stop. for Stop. Russell. Stop. And he is starting to find a home for that as Santiago tries to, when he tries to come in and press Russell against the ropes, something to keep your eye out on Let go. as this Let fight go. progresses. Stop. There's another fast jab again Alex, from Russell. But Santiago trying to watch your head, Alex. Watch your head. Okay. Muck right, it up okay. a little bit. On, watch your head. Fighting on the inside. Which is his strength. Again, a straight left on the chin, but Santiago keeps coming forward. I'll give credit to Santiago. So far, he is taking a couple of big shots. Especially in the last couple of rounds. And he keeps pressing forward. There's a triple left hook from Santiago, but it was partially blocked from Russell. One thing about Russell, he's got great defense. Santiago kind of fainting the jab out there, and there's a left hook again. Knocking Santiago back. And Russell, you can tell he is starting to load up on that left hook. Starting to find a home as he, again, presses the jab to back Santiago up. And there he goes again, downstairs. Trying to use the straight left, just missing as Santiago is able to duck under. And there is another straight left on the chin. And a left hook just missed as Russell was able to avoid that shot. And there is another left hook. Not sure. Santiago's back was turned. So I'm not sure if that connected or not. And then here you see Santiago going downstairs to the body as Russell presses up against the rope. Right hook knocking Santiago back. And now Russell looking to engage. It is a dogfight right now between Russell and Santiago. Both men are encouraging it. Another flurry to end that round. In close. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, once again, our main event, Super Bantamweight World Championship Unification Bout. The WBC and WBO belts on the line. Stephen Fulton, the WBO champ. Brandon Figueroa, the WBC champion. Both belts were won earlier this year as Fulton defeated Angelo Leo back in January. Brandon Figueroa defeated Luis Netti in May to capture his WBC crown. And like I said, obviously it seems like the, it has been unanimous fighter of the year will be Canelo Alvarez as he was able to become the undisputed champ in the super middleweight division. But like I was saying, the Let's winner go. of this fight, you can't argue with their resumes and what they were able to accomplish here in 2021. Oh. As we move to round number five, and this one's starting to heat up. As you see Santiago, again with the left hook, but it was blocked by Russell. And now Santiago going to the body. And credit to Russell. I mean, he is not complaining about Santiago. Santiago is not an easy fighter to fight against, as you're starting to see. Doesn't make it easy. It's rough. Pressing. Up, and Pick really up, making man. things difficult. Russell's in, in, engaging. He is not backing down whatsoever. But for a guy that's very technical, as you see, a triple jab and then a, a left overhand left. Russell certainly has landed the more significant Pick shots, up, but go, again, Santiago still very go. much in this fight. And there's Santiago as he's trying to fight off the clinch. 
as referee Alan Huggins had to uh, give him a little bit of a warning. Russell Blockett, beautiful go, body go, shot go. right there from Santiago as he just ripped one. And I'm sure Russell felt that one. Out of Santiago's 24 victories, 13 have been by knockout. And there's another body shot, but a right hook again for Russell. And straight left as Santiago eats it and presses forward again. But so far, I'm starting to see in round here in round five, Santiago is starting to go to the body just a bit more. As there is another, I'm not sure if that was a slip. Certainly was not a knockdown. I'm not sure if they tripped or if it was a slip. Nonetheless, we resume action. There is another right hook connecting for Russell. And like I was saying, I mean, Santiago is starting to go to the body just a bit more. And it has worked favorably. Here in round five. Let's see if he continues with the game plan. As there's another body shot, but Russell again just lets it rip. And an uppercut just missing. As Santiago had Russell a little bit of a headlock as he releases. And here we go again. And there's another straight left cross from Russell. And then body shot as Russell's using his defense as he's trying to fight out of it again. Excellent round for both men. And th this was a round, if you're Santiago, you're encouraged by. You can see the body shots. He was going downstairs a little bit more. Pressing Russell up against the ropes, not allowing him to get any room. And then here's that straight left that has continued to find a home throughout this fight. Hey, watch the holding, okay, but Santiago right, takes you. it and presses forward. As we now look at the corner of okay. Gary Antonio hey, Russell. Okay. Thumbs up. And here we are, round six. Handsome weight division, six of ten. And there's Santiago again, trying to press the action. But Russell, like I was saying, he has not been afraid to engage whatsoever. And at certain points has welcomed Santiago. And there is another. That was clear. That was sort of a throwdown. And you can see the frustration on Russell. Watch ahead, okay? And referee Alan Huggins warning Santiago. Watch it. And there's a just a beautiful one too again. Very crisp. And then a body as Russell is changing levels. And there's a left cross just grazing the chin of Santiago. Russell looks to use the jab, but Santiago again going, digging into the body. And Santiago's really starting to let it rip. Left hook again connected. And now Santiago starting to gain some momentum as there's a left hook that throws Russell off balance. And so far, this has been the best round for Alexandro Santiago. As Get off his head. Get off his head. You were able to see the body work from Santiago. And but now Russell looking to counter. And Russell goes back to his bread and butter, the jab. And now Santiago pressing Russell up against the ropes. This has been a very entertaining fight. 
An uppercut just missed for Russell. Now the jab continuing to work for Russell. Left, straight left again, but now Santiago trying to press Russell up against the ropes. As referee Alan Huggins has to separate. And there is a uppercut again from Russell, and then followed with a body shot. And Santiago, man, his chin is just made of granite. And he just seems unfazed by these shots. And there is a left hook as Russell just ducked under to end round six. Here we take a look at some of the highlights. And there is that straight left from Santiago. He has been extremely aggressive throughout this fight, but round six had to be Santiago's best as there is a big overhand right followed with the body shot. Santiago does a great job at pressing forward and then a little bit of a shove to create that space. And that was a body shot that certainly did some damage. If I heard correctly, I believe his corner was encouraging Santiago and imploring him to continue to go to the body, which I agree with. I mean, he hasn't gone to the body enough, but when he has, it has worked favorably for Santiago, and it has bothered Gary Antonio Russell. Nobody likes a body shot. It's not the prettiest punch, but it is certainly effective. As now Santiago again, starting to follow Russell. There's a left cross just missing as both fighters once again tie up. Round seven, Miguel Flores here from the Dolby Live Theater in Las Vegas, Nevada. And there is another beautiful one, two from Russell. Both connected flush. Watch your head. There's a little bit of a clash of heads there as there is another body shot by Santiago as he's starting to press on Russell. Not sure if Russell got a little bit dazed head, from the headbutt head, okay. or if it was the body shot, but it seems to it seems to be all the way back now. There's a left hook and there's a body shot, but that might have been just below the belt. And Santiago disagrees. He felt like that was a clean shot. Referee Alan Huggins, Ryan Russell, and Russell shaking his head, saying that certainly wasn't a clean shot. As he's trying to, he will get the enough time to recover. And there was one, and that one certainly was low, well below the belt line. Sometimes the refs will allow a shot on, if you look at the trunks of Russell on the red, but that was way, way below Watch the, little the blows, red okay? belt line Pick it of up. Russell. Box. Now Santiago again pressing forward. This has not been an easy fight for Russell, and I'm sure he he expected this. Santiago is crafty, pressure fighter. He's not going to make it pretty. And there you see referee Alan Huggins as Santiago is listen. He's frustrated as referee Alan Huggins. And there Santiago comes in. Body shot again for Santiago. 
And now Santiago's starting to let his hands go even more so. Russell back to his one, two. Right hook again, and Russell pressing forward. Santiago delivers to the body. And when we saw the first couple of rounds, Russell was in control of the ring, sort of establishing the center. And now we are starting to see over the last several rounds, Santiago has been in firm control in, in regards to ring generalship as we enter round seven. Tough fight for both Russell and Santiago. As we take a look at our co-main event, some implications in the Super Bantamweight division. There you see Raiz, the Beast Aleem, undefeated. He has been calling for a title opportunity. And he's going to have to wait a little bit longer. And he will have to get through the very tough Eduardo Baez. Aleem has said he wants the winner of Figueroa Fulton. Will that happen? I'm not sure. But the man is another name to watch as a contender in the super bantamweight division, which, like I said earlier, is absolutely loaded. Bring us up. We are round eight. Russell working off the jab. And overhand right backs Russell up. That straight left has been there all day. But like I said, I mean, Santiago is just eating those. It just seems unaffected. I'm sure they hurt, but he's not showing it. Left cross blocked by Santiago. Use it. And this is exactly where Russell wants this fight as he was able to get that left cross as Santiago was darting away. This is more Russell's speed. Santiago hasn't been able to get on the inside. There's a left hook that connected, and now Russell just letting it, letting his hands go. And right here is where Santiago wants it. This is where he's had his most success. Rip into the body right here, but Russell again just following, using those short lefts as Russell presses Santiago up against the ropes. Another left cross on the chin from Russell. Santiago ducks under again. Final minute here in round eight. Not sure if Santiago's really just trying to gather a second win here. Starting to look just a bit tired. I mean, he has fought a very aggressive style. Not easy, and Russell's been able to capitalize. Straight left, just floored Santiago. But again, Santiago staying with Russell. And there was a jab that connected for Santiago. Now Santiago trying to get on the inside. Chopping left, partially connected for Russell. As you see, Russell with the uppercuts. As Santiago's on the inside, and Santiago trying to dip into the body. Not a lot of those punches connected. Flush. That certainly was Russell's round. Let me see the trainer. We are the senior. 
Bueno, no estás cansado, dime no, 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 no. qué vienes. Si lo tienes ahí, ¿por qué no entras con combinaciones completas? Lo que te dije. ¿Qué te dije que hicieran? Hágalo y péguele. Y no lo dejes aquí. ¿A qué venimos? A Troyes. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Sí, pero no lo vamos a ganar. Si lo están haciendo el round, se lo ganaron, te lo ganaron ahorita. Y es el octavo round, son los últimos. Esta hora no va a No tenemos mañana. Vamos a tratar. Lo dice por allá atrás. No se lo dejes a los jueces. ¿Entendiste? ¿Entendiste? Y ahí you heard his corner. Pretty much asking Alexandro Santiago, are you tired? Are you tired? If you're not, we gotta go. He said, we have no tomorrow. And here you see Russell again as we begin round nine. And that's what it looked like to me in round eight. You could start to see Santiago slow down. And that was it, it worked very favorably for Russell. And there's a huge right hook for Russell. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Both fighters trying to find the rhythm here. Two more rounds to go. It's been a tough fight. Close. I still have Russell up. And there's a straight left again that backs Santiago up. I'm not sure. Santiago had a couple of good highlights throughout the fight so far, but I just don't see that it was it's been enough to overtake Russell. These look sharper as we're starting to see it once again here in round nine. But again, it hasn't been overwhelming for either fighter in one direction. It's certainly a close one, as you see a right hook connecting for Russell, but he, you can see the eighth round, and so far here in the ninth, Russell's starting to turn it up. And Santiago's trying to dip on the inside, right hook connecting for Russell, as he's working off the jab, but now Santiago pressing Russell up against the ropes. Now Santiago trying to dig into the body and Russell trying to use the chopping right hook to create some separation as Russell is staying in the pocket. Let me go, let me go. go. It's been a grueling fight for both men. And now Russell trying to unload a combination. A lot of the punches were thwarted by the forearms of Santiago. Now Santiago pressing against Russell. Ten seconds, stop the bell. There's another stiff jab from Russell. It is clockwork. And then there's a straight left as the round comes to a close, connecting for Russell. There you saw his brother Gary Russell Jr. imploring Gary Antonio Russell, fight on your stick. Everything comes off the stick. Fight on your stick and close this out. And Santiago comes out firing right away, connected on an overhand right. 
There's another body shot in Santiago. Starting to press forward. Russell had a very, couple of really good last couple of rounds in the eighth and the ninth. Santiago might feel a sense of urgency here in the 10th. Like I said, it's still not clear for either men. In my opinion, if I had a scorecard, I'd have Russell up, but not by much. And then Santiago again, pressing Russell down a bit. Use it, use it. Now Santiago with the looping left, and Russell with the straight left as Santiago starting to dig into the body. Russell sits on the ropes, and now Santiago with the overhand left, connecting, countered with the right hook from Russell. This has been a phone booth fight. And that works in the favor of Santiago. As you see Santiago trying to press on Russell, looking to go to the body. Big right hook just missed, and Santiago leaps at Russell. Referee Allen Huggins having to come in again. And then a straight right connecting for Santiago. And there is another looping left on the chin again for Santiago. There's Russell again, back on the stick with the one, two, using the jab, and that's been and Russell gets an opportunity to do that. That's when he's been at his best. And a huge left sort of stunned Santiago. And Russell feels it, but Santiago comes forward again. My goodness. Right hook on the chin as Huggins breaks it up. That was a big straight left that connected for Russell. And now, it, like I said earlier, it is a dog fight. And an overhand left just missed for Russell. Closing seconds here in the 10th and another big straight left connected for Russell again, but Santiago presses forward. <laughs> Tremendous fight. What a way to open things up here from the Dolby Live Theater. Some riveting action throughout this entire fight. Both men came with it. And Santiago listened to his corner and really turned things up here in the 10th round. There's some body shot right there from Santiago and those were sneaky good punches that I believe took something out of Russell didn't show it. And then there's that looping left just missing. But here was that big straight left as Santiago came forward and Russell timed it perfectly. And there you saw Santiago stumble into the corner but bounce right back up to attack some more. And like I said, I mean, Santiago's chin, just pure granite. And Russell doesn't have a bad chin either. He ate some shots as well. Like I said, I mean, it is going to be a close fight. We know boxing judges look for different things. I mean, if you're going to judge based on aggression, Santiago may get the nod. If you're going to base off accuracy, and connecting on more shots, Russell will get the nod.
but both men have nothing to be ashamed of. They left it in the ring and provided one hell of a fight to open things up here. And we still have our super bantamweight unification bout on the way. Tremendous, tremendous action from start to finish. And like we say, boxing is styles makes fights. And that certainly did that. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Judge of ringside, Lisa Jampa scores the action 95 to 95, even a draw. Overruled by judges. Benoit Roussel and Steve Morrow, they both scored about 96 to 94 in favor of the decision by majority decision, Gary Antonio Russell. Gary Antonio Russell, majority decision victory. A highly contested bantamweight showdown. Very tough. You heard the crowd's dismay, but this was no robbery. Could have gone either way. I am totally okay with these scorecards. 95-95 from Lisa Giampa and then 96-94 the rest of the way from the other two judges, Steve Morrill and Benoit Russell. Here is Jim Gray with the interview. Well, having some, was, we can't hear Gary Antonio Russell and his thoughts on the fight, but nonetheless, a tremendous performance. I mean, both, like I said, both guys, Santiago and Russell, left it all in the ring. I believe it came down to those final three rounds. As we take a look at some of the highlights from this fight, when Santiago was at his best is when he was pressuring Russell. He was getting him on the ropes. He was digging into his body. I felt like Santiago maybe started a little bit too late because he's really started to come on in the third round. As there we see some of the body shots from Santiago. And then when Russell, he came out, established his game plan early. I think he was able to bank a couple early rounds. And then he turned it up late. And there was the big left in the 10th and final round. And who knows, that 10th round could have been the difference. As you see, Gary Antonio Russell improved to 19 and 0. Um, Y'all can look at this performance. As we take a look, Russell ready, but I know what I'm capable of and did I'm win round 10 on Russell's card to get the win. Alex, and he lost round 10 on the other two scorecards. So there you go. This decision. Round 10. Was tough, and now we'll go back to Jim Gray. Antes que nada, gracias al público por el apoyo. Estuvo, escuchó mucho el grito México. Y, y pues me gustó no pues yo pienso que, que fue una pelea cerrada creo que tenía que apretar un poco más pero siento que que yo me lo tenía que haber llevado yeah no first of all I want to uh, thank the crowd for be, uh, being here the Mexican crowd that came here to support me and I thought it was a close fight I think it was a very close fight today you had mentioned that you thought you would have to stop him uh, that a decision would be problematic. Do you, do you think you can get a decision ever based on what's happened in all of your close fights before? Toda esta pelea que tú has tenido que han sido bien cerrada, ¿tú ve, en vez en cuando piensas que necesitas noquear al oponente para que te den la victoria? ¿Cómo, cómo, perdón? Si necesitas noquear al oponente para que te den la victoria en tantas peleas tan cerradas que ha tenido. Eh, sí, yo pienso que sí. 
que tenemos que apretar más este, para que los jueces no se vayan con con la localía. Yes, I, I think so. I think so. They don't go locally with the fighter. I do have to press a little more so the judges could decide on me in my favor. What did you figure out after the first three or four rounds and change the direction of this fight and continue to be aggressive? What, what did you see that, that enabled that? ¿Qué viste en los primeros tres o cuatro rounds que después totalmente fuiste más agresivo y cambiaste la pelea? Eh, vi que era un peleador que repetía los mismos golpes, tenía que Yo creo que desde un principio tenía que haber apretado más la pelea y no desde la mitad. Yeah, what I did see in the beginning rounds was that he was getting very repetitive. So if I would have just maybe a little more aggressive in the first couple of rounds, 